in a 10 stone, one pound and nine ounces. He is undefeated with a record of seven wins, no losses. Three of those wins coming by way of knockout from Dublin, Ireland. Here's Big Pan O'Leary. An eight rounder to open the evening then. Pierce O'Leary versus CR Osgood. It's an interesting one to get us started then, Barry Jones. Chris O'Leary undefeated. Seattle's got on the end of a few consecutive defeats. So on paper, Chris O'Leary the favourite, but Osgood in front of a home crowd here in East London. He will want to put on a show, do the business, and get himself back on the right path. Yeah, well, Osgood's got to try to you know, deal with the pressure, you know, use that experience. And just try and make the Louis Tannock look good early on and, and then settle him, but also not be careful and just walk onto a big shot from O'Leary, who, to be honest, has been, as the fights have gone on in his career so early, he's improving every time, he really is, he's looking better and better. Alan Smith, I think, has done a great job with him. Good right hand there from O'Leary. Well, you mentioned the right hand there, but it's the left hand that got everybody's attention. That knockout in this last fight, absolutely stunning shot up there in Bolton. That'll be something that Osgood will be aware of. A bit of movement catching the attention of the York Hall crowd that has really started to bubble away here, isn't it? The atmosphere already building. Be careful here, then. Osgood, the, the faint here of a leader, just making Osgood just hold his feet a little bit too long and not, not throw anything back, so he's just pretty, he's in range every time. The old leader let his hands go. Good left hook there, from Osgo there, just look over the body shot, the land of the left hand, over the top. Punching the halfway stage around one, already a bit of marking around the cheekbone of Osgo as O'Leary cuffs him with that right hand. That's lovely, lovely from O'Leary, lovely footwork, a little roll from the left hook to the body, and just sliding out of distance. Swagger about O'Leary, isn't it? I think he felt that body shot there. Osgo, just a little tap to the head there from O'Leary, but he dipped down to the body. Yeah, a couple of those body shots have landed, haven't they? Already some marking around the rib cage of Osgo, who lands with a left hook of his own there. there. Just, just, just another, he was going to slip to the body there, like, uh, Osgo, and then dipped, up, dipped down low and come over the top of the left hook. They yeah, tried it again there. That's better there for O'Leary. Even, even if the jab's not heavy, just the judge's distance just sets him up and just keeps Osgo a little bit quiet so he can set him up for a bigger shot. of an opening round. And then O'Leary will take confidence from as Osgill swings and misses with the left hook. Thoughts on the first three minutes? Yeah, that was a good positive start there from O'Leary. Come on, nice and sharp. He'll, he'll, he'll be more aggressive, more aggressive maybe we've seen him. Some fights, but they're not going to take any any risk. Took that front foot through the center of the stand there. Of Osco made him miss quite comfortable and give him some heavy clean shots. I think Osco you know, got a little bit relaxed at the end of the round and it's come back to a little bit of his own, but still, I thought a nice, good, and clear round there for Pierce O'Leary. side of the face that we pointed out very early in the first round. O'Leary accurate early on. So head into round two. 
this goal shot to the left then before getting out of range but need to see an O'Leary trying to get that right uppercut in short and that's not making it particularly difficult for him lovely shot there from O'Leary just, just the shot you were talking about and threw it with a little right uppercut the problem is Osgoal has to put the pressure he has to come forward and the risk of that is that you do walk onto those uppercuts but he can't still in the first round stand, sitting on no man's land just being picked off Good bit of head movement previously there from O'Leary to get himself out of the corner. Goes to the body this time and then wins the jab exchange. Oh, good overhand right there from O'Leary. That one wobbled. Osgood. Didn't look like much on it. I just think he caught him on the back of the ear maybe. And just, uh, just maybe scrambled the senses for a few seconds. It's recovered though, Osgood. It's a lovely measured approach here. It's a beautiful body shot from O'Leary. A really measured approach here from the young man. Osgood does not look comfortable out there at all now. His heels flat to the floor. That's the one thing about Osgood. As tough as he is and as brave as he's shown in the past, he's not a big puncher. So he, I'm not sure if he has anything in his arsenal to really worry O'Leary. 15 professional victories, only three have been stoppages for Osgood. Oh, that uppercut again from O'Leary. But, but the movement that's as good because he just takes himself out of the trouble. Nothing. Well, Osgood's looking to fire back. Who wasn't far off with that right hand there, Osgood. He's looking to fire back and O'Leary's out of the way. He's done his work and he's, and he's got a clear space. Yeah, there's not a huge amount coming back, but O'Leary very much fighting these first opening rounds at his own pace. Well, he's dictating the pace, isn't he? And it's all to do with the footwork, the little feints that he did in the first round, and even here, the little j jiggery movements that he's, that he's doing with the shoulders, little slips and dips, just enough just to not allow Oscar to let his hands go. Or to feel too tentative to let his hands go. Every time Osgold throws something, something comes back in return. Nice tight defence there from Osgold as O'Leary looked a little bit wild with that right hand. That's the, that's the, the jab. It, it'll either put him in his place and push him back, or it'll encourage him to throw from too far out. And that's what Chris O'Leary needs to be doing more. Round two. That was the shot that wobbled. Well, I'm not sure. Well, say wobble. I'm not sure if the gloves touch the floor. That's technically a knockdown. But I don't. I'm not sure if they can really see if they did actually touch the floor. It looked like he bent over. I think he might have just saved himself at the last minute. But either way, yeah, that the right hand's causing the problems. I feel for for Osgood. And, and I looped the right hand over the top there, just um, just, me just messing with, with, with the balance there of uh, this year Osgood. This is the first bout of the evening. Shiloh de Freitas making his debut against seasoned campaigner Fons Alexander. We get to see Joe Giles make his debut as well against Pavel Garage. Sangili steps up a division against Daniel Lati. That's before we see Jordan Reynolds, Tursan by Kulak Met, and Archie Sharp all still to come here from York Hall. A very warm welcome, Rev. You're joining us from around the world. This is round three of the scheduled eight. Pierce O'Leary against Siad Osgood. O'Leary in charge for the first two rounds. This is what Osgood needed to do from the offset, I feel. You know, you just, when you've got a guy who's technically better, he needs a little more space and time to do his work, you've got to rush him. And it's easier said than done, because you, you know, you're potentially walking onto a bigger shot, but like I said already earlier, just, you know, standing in that mid-range or no-man's land, I, I was calling it, just getting totally picked off by the guy with the better vision and faster hands and... Has, has already got his judgment the distance spot on. Leary has got another one of those uppercuts away, but he looks physically big at the weight as well, doesn't he? Doesn't look like the kind of guy that you can get inside a bully. No, but it, it, it's not all, no, it's Oswald's been around, you know, so once he gets inside, he'll be able to use the elbows and pull the hand down and you know, put the head on the chest, things that he would have learned. Oh, that's beautiful, lovely. Well taken there by Osgo, but a lovely little combination there from O'Leary. Again, he's boxing so measured. 
no rush, no rush or panic to his work. Not feeling, you know, the, the temptation to try and rush his work to get him out there too early. He's just boxing well, picking his shots, and staying nice and relaxed. Solid jab there. Shot he likes, isn't it? And again. It's been difficult for Osgore to find moments. Because all the good work that O'Leary has done going forward, he hasn't offered a huge amount of opportunity for Osgol to do that. Well, and what's happening is every time he throws Osgol, O'Leary's firing straight away and usually with the better, with the, you know, the, more, the better success. So you have to throw in flurries, which is again I keep saying easier said than done, and it is. But you have to change the tact. Again, you have to rush the work of the guy who's technically better than you. Osgol catches O'Leary with the right hand on the way out. Lovely, lovely uh, little step in there with a the second jab there from O'Leary. Right hand to the body and Oskol just seems to be slowing ever so slightly but tries to get the right hand away Oskol. And that's one thing he won't stop doing is trying Oskol, you know, we've seen that in the past, you know, he'll, he'll keep plodding forward and trying to do his best to win the fight. Three rounds down. For Pierce O'Leary. Career wise for O'Leary, though, he seems to be doing the right thing, doesn't he? Taking challenging fights like this that are allowing him to build his skill set. Eighth fight in two years since turning pro. It's a good pace. Yeah, it is. No, I think, you know, especially you're in your career, with that momentum, keeping busy is very important because you're learning in the gym so quickly that you want to produce that in the ring all the time. And I think he's doing that. And what, if, what I've noticed a difference in, in, in his last few fights, and especially tonight, is the composure in his work. He's not panicking about trying to get a guy up every hit with a good shot. He's not rushing his work and getting scrappy or untidy. He's staying measured. He's keeping that distance where he feels comfortable at it, and he's controlling the pace without doing a lot of work. And we just saw at the top of those highlights there, that lovely combination that you pointed out, the left hook up top and then the right to the body. Intelligent combinations from Pierce O'Leary. The same one again, the left up top and then the right to the body. Throwing from too far out there, Osgo. When he dips down, he got to bring that, what, that left foot closer to the target, and then when he comes back up, then he can, he can throw that left hook. Just dipping his legs, you know, staying, getting loads of the idea, but he's dipping his legs and his feet are not moving. It's better there, you got to be closer there, needed to come in, come in over the front knee, or just put just onto the front knee. Oh, that one wobbles, Osgool. And he touches down. I don't think he was, I think, and he's shaking his head, I don't think he was, I just think it, it was an uppercut that hit him off balance. This is genuine knockdown, I don't think he's in too much distress. There's still plenty of time in this round. Solid double jab there from O'Leary. Oh, great shot. That was a cork of the right hand there from O'Leary, just as, just as... Oscar opened up the guard and saw that left hook, he threw that right hand right down the line. Really throwing with purpose now, Pierce O'Leary. Oh, left hand Shot. there. That hurt Oscar after you can see there, he's just recovering up and, and disguising it well, but he's... Another clean left hand, these all look like they're hurting Oscar now. talked about O'Leary's composure but when you drop somebody with plenty of time left in a round there is the temptation to jump on them <laughs> what are you asking me 
Well, it is. You see it so many times. People rush their work, and that, you know, that's when they get a little bit untidy. But again, he's, he's always keeping that distance, the right distance that's comfortable for him. And, and, having, and having the confidence that he, you know, if he keeps throwing the right punches, keeps looking at the right target, you know, keeps the vision that he will, he will get the result he wants. That's brave here from Osgo. Yeah, a good little fight back. Change left hooks. Moscow's corner have already got the stool ready. They're desperate to get him down to recharge the batteries ahead of round five. So Seattle Oscar down in the fourth. So Leary. Confident and comfortable. As you pointed out, Barry Jones, not rushing his work, and as no. a result, some pretty clean work coming out. Yeah, I think you know, he's boxing so well for the young man. You know, he's in his eighth fight, it's a real good, good display here from him. And he's, and he's, and he's put Osgill in his place from early on, let's be honest. There's a little short uppercut there as well from O'Leary. Well, it was the left hand that did the damage. That's yeah. the one that's ended two of his last three fights. Yeah, I don't think he was hurt though. There, I just think you know, it was a great shot that hit him. Hit him you know, uh, the upper got his head back, hit him off balance, and, and he lost his uh, lost his foot in there. Also, but what came after that there was a, a real you know, slow, precise, you know, work, not working over. From the lane. Round five. Osgul's going to get a positive result here. Something is going to have to change. Huge credit to Osgul. He's taken some shots here this evening. The thing with Osgul, you know you're never going to get anything but a guy who's going to come and try and have a go. But, you know, to be brutally honest, he's been second best in every department tonight. Still, it's lovely from the lead. So I love from the lead there. Little jab, just a lean back. You almost wouldn't even see it. Just to make Osgood fall short with his jab and came back with his own again. Now switch his stance temporarily. Just a reminder to O'Leary that he can't take his foot off the gas. And he came up with the left hook and just a little nick in the corner of the eye there of uh, Pierce O'Leary. But that right hand there was a big looping right hand, which O'Leary should have seen, to be honest. It was a great shot from Osgood, which O'Leary took well. But still, it's a real bit of positive signs there for Osgood to have a, have a little go. Well, as you pointed out, there is now some marking for O'Leary on that right eye. Doesn't look too close to the eye, though. No, it's just a little nick on the corner. I don't think it's too much trouble as yet. A bit of effort there from Osgood. Oh, the jab, but seems to dip in. He's got his head worryingly low for me, Osgood, at times. He's just trying to work that left hand now and try and open up that cut. Good jab there from O'Leary, just cut into the right hand. Good shot. Good hands from O'Leary. There's no cut for Oswald, but that side of his face is certainly more swollen than it was when he got in the ring. Well, the fifth round there, but not a huge amount changed, but maybe some crumbs of comfort there for Seattle's goal. Yeah, well, 
more than crunchy. That was a, it was a crunchy right hand, to be honest. And if he had more power, or, or if he didn't have a, you know, obviously a, a decent chin, then I think he's in trouble there, Ole, because he caught he got that shot flush. But he took it well and got back to his boxing to his credit. It was just a little left hand as well after there. There, so caught the nick there over the right eye. But the right hand was a shot again. If he just going to turn the hands over, you've actually caught him with the. With the it was almost like a Roy Jones type thing when he hit Carl Zaggy with caught him with the forearm. Just a little reminder for Pierce O'Leary that he is in a fight here against a seasoned pro. Straight out in round six, tries to get that right hand away again. And I think that's what he has to do, and I think you know, we were saying that pretty much from round one, and you know, it takes a lot of energy, but I just think you had to make it a bit of a dog for that. <laughs> but then you want to walk up the left hooks like that. And the jab was sharp from O'Leary to follow it up. Well, good left hook there from Osgood. again from Osgood. What do you think? O'Leary's just got his foot a little bit closer to the tag than he had in the previous round. I think that's allowing Osgood to land where before. He was just a little bit out of distance from Osgood to, to have any success. Learned from it on the nose of Osgood now. Practices the headlock. Around six to go here at your court. That's a lovely shot. Just a little turn of the body there from O'Leary and throwing that right uppercut. Just like to see when he makes Oscar miss, rather than throw the single shot, just a two punch combination. Oh, body shot there from O'Leary. Slapping off the rib cage of Oscar. with the combo, finishes it with the right hook and then leaves his head low and O'Leary catches him and then follows it up with a single left hook. A good jab as well there from O'Leary. His foot on the pedal a little bit here, hasn't he? Yeah, one minute around six to go. This has happened a couple of times this evening, Osgood. Looks absolutely exhausted and then just comes up with a really <laughs> sharp move out of nowhere. But Pierce O'Leary, not the kind of guy you want to play pass him with. Lovely combo from O'Leary. And what do we say rather than the single shots, just put the punches together a little bit more, and that was beautiful. Just a real injection of pace into his work there, Pierce O'Leary. Yeah, got the attention of this year called Clyde as he goes one two to the body. Get there, you come back with that right hand there, O'Leary. Final few seconds of the round. Oscar sits down. O'Leary, too. There just seemed to be a little bit extra spice in that round, Barry. Yeah, that was another hard round. It's been a hard fight, doesn't it, actually, for, for all school. And that was another really hard round. Took some heavy, heavy shots to the head there in that round. Look at that, it's a lovely. Again, not the single shot. Put his punches together, finish off the left hook. And again, Oscar takes it well. But backs him up, rocks him to the soles of his boots. And he has to regain his composure there for the, a little bit more of an onslaught there from O'Leary. Who again, picked his punches well. But when he throws his punches in combinations, in, 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 in clusters, he looks a much better animal, much, well, Oscar, much more dangerous animal. Oscar, of course, down in the fourth round, but he's done well to stay on his feet a few times in this bout, no more so than when he got hit for that left hand there. Six defeats on Ciar Osgul's record, two of them have come before the final bell. This round, seven of eight. There is the warning to keep his head up. Uh, 
that's the thing with Ozil. He, you know, he, like, he, he's not taking an absolute hammer in, but he's, it's been a, you know, he's been getting hit with heavy shots in every role. You maybe think maybe we're all pulling him out. But then he has a little burst of attack, doesn't he? He has a little bit of a little bit of success. Although I'd imagine he'll probably need some aspirin tomorrow. <laughs> Ultimate round of what's been so far a polished performance from Pierce O'Leary. That's lovely there, yeah. really shifted the shoulders there, looking for the gap in the defence. Oh, right hook to the body. Oh, and then a left as well. And Oscar somehow still on his feet, still calling O'Leary on. But the referee has seen enough. As O'Leary started to turn the screw, Osgood has been punished for nearly seven complete rounds. And the referee deciding to put him out of his misery. And Barry Jones, I don't think anybody can have too many complaints about that. Oh, that was a really impressive performance there from O'Leary. From start to finish, I thought it was a really good display. And it looked like maybe you know, that Osgood was going to see the finish. But again, O'Leary never panicked, never rushed his work. There was never any doubt in his mind that maybe he was going to get that finish. He just stuck to his plan, picked the shots really well. The judgment of the distance from the offset was really good from him. He got his range early, picked the shots. He's making Osgood miss quite comfortable, especially in the early rounds. Osgood was having a little spurts of success now and again. Could we know how tough and how committed and brave he is? But ultimately, every exchange he was coming almost second best with. Him. And once then, in that last cut, the round or two, where O'Leary said to put his punches, punches together in combinations. The end you knew the end was coming and that was a great finish and again the way he picks his shots his composure for such a young man that that was a real good performance from him well that is eight professional fights unbeaten now four of them he has won by knockout or technical knockout and he seems to be going in the right direction as you said a few times incredible composure for somebody in such an early stage of their pro career he just got confidence in his whole, you know, in his ability. He got confidence in his, you know, in, in his boxing skills, in his jab, which is really good when he throws it. Didn't throw it enough tonight to, until until about round four. And also his power. That he's not a he's not a KO artist. No, he's not a not a, a devastating puncher. I think every shot he throws is with intent. Every shot's a heavy shot, and he knows he can wear you down. And that's exactly what he did tonight. But Pierce O'Leary and Ciara Osgill are in the middle, as is Ricky Wright to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Bates calls stop the contest at 1 minute and 13 seconds of round number 7. For your winner, and still undefeated, P.S. Showing here throw just literally throughout the whole contest, just the judgment of the distance, picking his shots well. Just the judgment, the, the, the timing was really good for him. Shot selection was really good. Never panicked when anyone was coming back. Even when he got called in a few shots. The concentration and everything he's doing in the gym. He's producing on that's all come to fruition tonight. And there's a standard performance for Bissell in the right hand there. And the flurry to finish there, picking his shots, not brushing it, not look at the panic. Looking for the gaps and the referee had no choice but to step in. And that's 8-0, possibly his best win to date. It'll be interesting to see 